مرحبا فيكم جميعا اليوم رح نكون مع بعض بال بالمنتدى الثاني من من مشروعنا المتعلق ببناء أندية الوساطة في الجامعة الفلسطينية وبلشنا بالنموذج الأول هو نموذج الوساطة في جامعة بيرزي عملنا المنتدى الأول كان قبل تقريبا أسبوع أو أسبوعين والتقينا كمان بمجموعة من الشباب من أكثر من دولة بالعالم اللي كمان حكوا عن تجاربهم خلال عملهم كطلاب خلال وجودهم كطلاب الجامعات وتأسيسهم لأندية الوساطة هناك عشان أنا أعطيكم فكرة وين إحنا وصلنا إحنا كان عندنا مجموعة من تدريبات مع حوالي عشرين طالب وطالبة من جامعة بيرزيت جامعة بيرزيت أكبر جامعة فلسطينية تقريبا فيها تقريبا أربعة عشر ألف طالب طالبة عم نعمل هذا الشغل مع عماد شؤون الطلبة في جامعة بيرزيت وكان عندنا معسكر تدريبي مخيم تدريبي لمدة ثلاث أيام اشتغلنا فيه مع مع المجموعه اللي تم اختيارها تقريبا 20 شاب وصبيه اللي هم بيمثلوا النواه الاولى لتاسيس وتشكيل نادي الوساطه بجامعه بيرزيت، هذا النادي اللي راح اللي هو اول من نوعه بفلسطين، بعرفش اذا كان في تجارب لانديه وساطه بالوطن العربي بنحب نسمع عن اي تجارب كانت حسب الفحوصات والبحث اللي عملناه خلال الفتره الاخيره يمكن هذه أول تجربة بالوطن العربي نتأمل أنه تتعمم وتتوسع نتأمل أنه تكون هذه التجربة كمان حقيقية وناجحة بجامعة برزيت عشان هيك إحنا اليوم عم نستضيف زميلة مختصة وخبيرة في هذا المجال أخذت شق مهم اللي رح نحكي عنه كمان اليوم هي ياسمين يعقوب ياسمين هي وسيطة وخبيرة في مجال الوساطة مقيمة في هولندا وهي من أصول عربية مغربية متشرف فيك ياسمين كثير مبسوطين أنه أنت تكوني معنا كمان ياسمين إن شاء الله خلال الأسبوع القادم رح نبعث لكم كمان دعوات لأنه عندنا مؤتمر لإطلاق هذا النادي إن شاء الله متأمل تكون معنا برام الله وتشارك معنا بإطلاق المؤتمر والنادي من رام الله فإحنا دائما بنرحب فيك هذا المشروع بحب أقول أنه هو بالشراكة مع جمعية القانونية الفلسطينية وهو بدعم وتمويل من مكتب التمثيل السويسري في الله نقدم شكرنا دائم لمكتب التمثيل السويسري على دعم هذه المبادرة اللي هي أول مبادرة تكون بهذا المجال إحنا بمؤسسة أكت عم بنركز كتير 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 على الوسائل البديلة لحل النزاعات بس عم بنركز كتير أكتر على موضوع الوساطة بالفترة الأخيرة بنعطيها أهمية كتير عالية وبنتأمل بأنه بإطار هذا اللقاء رح نتعرف كثير على من خلال كمان ياسمين عن عن تجربتها واختصاصها في موضوع التعددية الثقافية وقديش بأوروبا في دور لهذا الموضوع كمان على موضوع المنافسات والمسابقات المتعلقة بالوساطة بأوروبا بس أنا رح أترك كمان ياسمين هي تقدم نفسها ورح نعمل هذا اللقاء على شكل حوار اللي أنا وياها رح نتواصل عن طريق المناقشة والأسئلة والحوار وبعدين رح نفتح المجال للأسئلة فمرحب فيكم جميعا تشاركونا ياسمين أهلا وسهلا فيك تفضل أهلا وسهلا شكرا كثير شرف كبير لي um, Thank you so much for having me um, today uh, and next week إن شاء الله uh at the location uh yeah i'm looking forward uh, and um, if there are any questions for me it's okay if they are asked in arabic and then i can answer it in english if uh, it's necessary um and i had also the presentation i don't know if you can see it I'll put it right now, no problems. Okay, amazing. Uh, further, um, my name is uh, Yasmin, Yasmin Yakubi. Uh, I am based uh, uh, and born and raised in the Netherlands, but as you can see, I am uh, Arab uh, from originally from uh, Morocco, and uh, uh, I'm uh, traditionally uh, um, there's the presentation. 
I've studied traditionally law and practiced law as well in the Netherlands as a consultant at uh, the, uh, at, uh, the, the Court of Justice. Um, um, and after that, I did my specialization in uh, legal uh, mediation. So I am a legal mediator in the Netherlands and alternative uh, dispute resolutions. And in, 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 that, uh, in that role, um, I was also uh, interested in the next generation. Um, and I, I've been asked to coach, etc. cetera. And um, in Europe, um, I went to all the uh, competitions and judged and coached as well. And uh, today, uh, Dr. Um, Mohammed and I am going to talk about the importance of diversity in coaching and uh, yeah and uh, other uh, things uh, and also like uh, some um, examples from the from from uh, my experience and uh, I hope uh, some uh, tips that uh, or tools that you can use as well. And I heard there are also students here today. So if the students have any questions or uh, something, just uh, let us know. Yeah, that's great. Uh, that's great, uh, Yasmin. And I believe that you are doing um, a great job uh, um, in Vienna. Um, tell us about uh, uh, your journey um, and the competition in Vienna. Let's start from there, uh, Yasmin. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Uh, to be honest, uh, the journey didn't begin in Vienna. So these uh, pictures that you can see, these are this is a team of uh, four people that I've coached in the Netherlands. That was uh, in 2022. Uh, and I was a Dutch competition at a law firm. So all the universities in the Netherlands, they had a team and they participated. Um, and they asked me to coach uh, the team. I didn't know the students, they didn't know me. So in one day we had uh, to figure it out. Um, and uh, I, I will keep it a, a cliffhanger. Uh, no, you can stay on that one. Yeah. Well, as you can see at the last, uh, at the previous uh, screen, they won first prize uh, of the Netherlands that day. And the, you, saw, you saw like an immense amount of growth during that day. Um, and so it was also about um, seeing the person. Um, and as you can see, Translation. You can continue. You can continue. Yes, I think. Okay. Well, this is uh, a team with a lot of diversity in it. So there are four uh, people. Uh, on paper, they are Dutch, but um, their parents are from different uh, countries, uh, and also like subcultures, also uh, uh, personalities. Uh, etc. So when I began the coaching, um, I, I figured out like one of the students. Uh, she she was in the first. My first impression was that she was a little bit introvert, a little bit more shy. And I was thinking, well, how can I put the right people on the right place? Uh, so in this competition, as you can see on the left uh, picture. You have a client and a lawyer. Um, if you can go back one picture. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's okay. So you have the client and the lawyer on the one side, then you have the mediator. And on the other side, you have the client and the lawyer as well. Uh, but you need to see where, where is, uh, what is the place for a student to thrive? So in that example, I figured out, and no one knew it, uh, although they are students and study together every day. One of the girls, she uh, did acting classes in her free time. That's what she liked to do. 
so then I thought, well, you will thrive in as a client and then you can do like your dramatic part, uh, etc. Uh, so that is one example of using the differences. Um, yeah, as I, I would call it a superpower. Um, also, another example is uh, when you have like diversity in between a team and they have to negotiate. Um, it is hard to, uh, they can complement each other. So uh, from the perspective of like, for example, one team member was Russian and the other one was Moroccan. Um, and they had a lot of other di differences, but by using it and empower them to use it, like I, I call it, it is a superpower. So take your identity and take your experiences, et cetera, with you to the negotiation table. They are more intercultural sensitive. So they have then two things uh, in advance. They have um, uh, um, they have empathy with the other party. So if one of them doesn't uh, identify with the other one, because of the differences, the other one can uh, fill in that role and see a way to empathize with, with that other party. And, and in that, in that uh, way, it is easier to recognize emotions on the other side, to see what is the underlying interest of the emotion. Another uh, superpower is also when um, you look at the Harvard negotiation rules is also like create different solutions with objective criteria, etc. cetera. Um, when you have a different background, uh, then you can also see the, the, the case or the interest um, from another perspective. And in that way, uh, the, 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 the solutions or the options during the brainstorming sessions are more diverse. Um, but in order to work that way together as a team, you need to have like a certain amount of trust uh, because it's, 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 you need to trust each other. So uh, that's in the beginning where, what you're building on. You focus on the fact that you are there as a team and you both have the same goal. Like you travel to Vienna, you use your uh, money, your time, your um, resources to be there. So that's a big commitment. Uh, and that proves also that you want to achieve something. You want to win. Yeah. Uh, and in order to win, uh, we need to unlock the full potential. Yeah. Uh, and in order to unlock the full potential, it is necessary to do what you need to recognize your personal uh, needs. And that can be different. Um, and that ha can have something to do with religion, something with personality, something with family. Um, but I always say, I don't care what it is. Why? Because it's a part of autonomy. Uh, I don't want you to explain yourself. Uh, because then it's like you are asking for permission, you know? So it's a basic amount of trust. We are here with the same goal. And if you need to do something, you go and do that uh, without telling us why. And we trust you. So I begin always and I say, well, I have a lot of energy. So I need sometimes to go for a walk. I need my space and uh, you trust me on, uh, I, I will do my work, but I need some space. So yeah, then you trust each other. Okay, that's what you need. And uh, one of the students, she was in the elevator uh, right before uh, a session uh, of, of, of uh, a negotiation round. So we had 30 minutes to uh, prepare that round with the confidential information, etc. 
uh, and she went, uh, got an expert uh, cappuccino and she went for a walk and she met another student from another team at the elevator. He said, oh, you have free time. Uh, you are not uh, having a competition now. He couldn't believe that she was taking an espresso, uh, a cappuccino and walking around just right before the game. Uh, but in our team, we trusted each other and anyone can do what he needs. Uh, and we have the same goal. So there are different ways to, to, to reach that goal. And uh, you cannot unlock the full potential by playing the game uh, by the rules of the Monant because that are their uh, unique, uh, uh, yeah, unique uh, things that they need, but that's not what you need. So if someone needs to go home and go pray, they can go. Um, and that's something I'm advocating for now at the CDRC. They are the, organ the organizers of uh, this moot court in uh, Vienna. Um, and I started now a, a small group to create more space for the personal needs because we want it to be a, a mondial uh, platform but it needs to be accessible for everyone and also an equal level, level playing field. And if some needs can't be met, then it's not an equal level playing field. So one of my students, she had to go like several times a day back to the hotel to pray. It took a lot of energy from her. So we gave her that space, but still it is a lot of energy. And I know also from other students, they have neurodiversity, they have I don't know, autism, ADHD, hyper uh, sensitive. They need a room to relax or to, uh, you know, unwind or meditate. Um, so by providing these small things uh, for the students, you can one, uh, reach an equal level playing field. And two, you can give the space to the for the students to, um, to do what they need in order to perform at a certain level. And the third thing is also, uh, it's, it's, it normalizes the unique, uh, the unique things you need and creates some space. Well, okay, now I have to think and uh, now I am in charge. So it empowers the students as well and gives them also a, a, a certain kind of responsibility. Uh, so you have to perform well, you have these and these and these resources, so you need to choose and think about what you need uh, and use them uh, wise. So that is, um, uh, yeah, some, uh, some kind of my uh, approach, an example, and uh, uh, something that's going on in the future. Um. Um, Yasmin, thank you for um, um, the whole description that you provided us and I'm very thankful and happy to hear all what you are doing in coaching and talking about the uh, multicultural, but I have a question. Um, mm -hmm. um, you talked about uh, um, um, the diversity and you talk about the uh, the cultural backgrounds and somebody from the Arab region and other from Europe and you 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 keep them and give them this the space uh, 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 but we are not all we don't think in the, the same way we don't negotiate in the same way especially when we are dealing with youth uh, when we are uh, dealing with youth youth are focusing more about positions more than thinking about interests and this is this is natural when we were in their age in in, in universities uh, we focus all the time on 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 principles on uh, 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 on positions not about interest we don't think all the time about the mutual interest uh, i should think about you not only thinking about myself how can you deal with this kind of uh, 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 personality regarding the negotiation yeah. issues. Yeah, thank you. 
Thank you for this question, because now the way I explained it, uh, it sounds like sunshine and flowers, but that wasn't the case because I had to mediate uh, a lot of times between the students and um, yeah, a lot of tears and emotions. Uh, and especially, so the youth, you called, you, you mentioned youth and also like certain uh, um, situations trigger the positions faster. So these are students, they are doing the masters in the Netherlands of mediation and negotiations. They had the Harvard negotiations, they had everything. But when they are emotional or, oh fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. When they are emotional, uh, they go to their primary uh, thinking, you know? So the primary reaction, like fight, flight, freeze. So when one is uh, Dutch and Russian and the other one is Dutch and Moroccan, and they had also uh, different religions, etc., personalities, everything. Uh, so when they're emotional, they forget about everything they learned. They go to their primary reaction, yeah? So um, um, you have to, to, yeah, you have to intervene and um, they are crying and uh, angry and uh, everything. And you have to acknowledge their emotions first, because then it can go down and they can go to the slow thinking again and, and the reasonable things. But um, especially on their, on their pressure of some kind of competition, it is like one, she, she said, well, we are here as a team. And that means that we should stick together uh, and we rented the same apartment. So we woke up together. She wants to have breakfast together, to train together, etc. So that was her way of being a team. But that's not uh, possible if you have different people, different needs, um, and it will crash because if uh, the other one cannot go for her walk, or go pray or go, well, you can be satisfied, but it's not the best outcome for the team. And then you have the position and win lose. Um, yeah. And that's the point. That's the point where I ask, okay, I need to find out why it is important for her. So why is it important for you to be together the whole day? Uh, yeah, yeah, because in that way I can, I can confirm and see, like, see if everything is going right and if you are preparing and everyone is doing their work. So in a way, it was uh, having um, an idea of control. She wanted uh, to control the situation, control the outcome, but it was counterproductive. It was, she was reaching the opposite. Um, so I said, well, imagine we do it your way, okay? We go, we are together the whole day and no one is taking their medicines, no one is praying, no one is taking their walk, no one is doing what they need, but we are doing it your way, yeah? But you are here to win, yeah? You, you, you spend your money, your time, you are here. Um, so is that what you want? It will give you that the best outcome? I said, well, uh, no, because of course, they are not at their best at the time. So uh, then she is, okay, back to basic. Why are we here? What is our common goal? And how can we um, reach that goal? And then it was possible for her to take a step further, but not without giving her the feeling that she is seen and her concerns are seen because she was genuinely concerned about uh, is everyone prepared well enough? She was concerned about the quality, about everything. So uh, in, in, if one of the students uh, is very positional, there is always an, 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 an amount of fear underneath. So what is your fear? What are you concerned about? Or what are you afraid of? Um, 
or and if someone says well i, I don't have any fear uh, i'm not scared then i say well what would you what would the most ideal situation look like for you uh, or what would the worst situation look like for you so in that way you can distinguish uh, like an underlying interest and uh, work through that um, yeah so I have dealt with uh, positions as well <laughs> yeah 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 um, uh, very very interesting and and what 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 you said right now that take me to another questions about the philosophy of the the competitions because when we are talking about mediation and to be honest i feel that there is a big difference between mediation and negotiation because when we are dealing with conflict not a not in a competition and not a commercial uh, uh, when we are dealing with uh, mediation, uh, uh, we use we use negotiation, but we use it trying to to get the win-win situation. And mm -hmm. in general, as as a basic, uh, uh, but when it comes to competitions, it's not win-win; it's win-lose. I want to win, right? Yeah, yeah. That that is a smart uh, way to look at it because. Uh, I have been judging in uh, Paris and in Bologna, uh, for example. And then as a judge, you are giving the points uh, out for the teams that are trying to reach the win-win situation. But by trying to reach the win-win situation, one is losing. So yeah, that is a double thing. But the whole philosophy of the competition uh, is it is a learning experience. Um, and uh, so even, even if uh, a team doesn't win, you see like a, a, a big improvement during uh, the competitions because every round they have like three professionals or four sometimes, and they give you the feedback um, or what you can improve, what you can do better, et cetera. Um, so yeah, a competition can bring a, a, a certain amount of uh, uh, of pressure, uh, but the whole philosophy is also uh, to learn, and that's why every competition I participated as a judge or as a coach, there were different awards you can get. So sometimes there is a special award for the best teamwork in between a team or uh, the best um, lawyer or the best. So they try to recognize uh, also different um, skills as well. And, uh, and there are also like a lot of workshops uh, during the competitions uh, uh, to, uh, yeah, to learn uh, extra skills. And of course the social uh, gatherings where you can just talk to the professionals and ask them for advice, ask them for, uh, yeah, feedback, expert feedback, yeah. I'm very interested also to, to, to learn from you and all the, all the participants, I, I believe, what's happened during the competition? What, what you are coaching them on? Um, is there specific cases that you received before or when you enter the competition itself, you receive the case and start studying it and using the skills that you coach them before. Uh, 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 what is the points on what you, you, you play the role of judge also, not only the coach. So uh, uh, based on what uh, one team win, the other uh, team lose. Tell us more uh, uh, in details about the competition itself. If you please. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's a really uh, good question as well. Um, well, the coaching with uh, the, this team that I went uh, to Vienna with, I began like six months before with them, with the coaching. Um, and this is the point uh, where there is a difference between negotiation and mediation and why it is a mediation competition has everything to do with the way they give the points. 
Yeah. So um, I know how they judge. I know how the score sheets, uh, what score sheets are looking like. Um, so, for example, you get the points for uh, uh, for teamwork. Yeah. There is one very complicated role, and that is the lawyer client part. Because you have. Uh, tell us, tell us about the lawyer client part, if you please. Yes. Yeah. yeah. In in Vienna, uh, well, every competition is different uh, because sometimes the mediator is a professional, and sometimes the mediator is a student as well, yeah. and they get a prize for the mediation, and the other ones get a prize for the best negotiation team. So okay. in Vienna, the mediator was a student. Um, yeah. okay. And then you have the client and the lawyer on one side. So that is from one team, one country, and the client and the lawyer from another team, another country on the other side. And of course, like the first reaction of the students is almost every time, I want to be the lawyer. Uh, because in their head, like, that that's, has more prestige and um, you can show more of your skills. But at the same time, it is very difficult because as a lawyer in that setting, it's not like the court. You're not stealing the show there uh, because you are working for your client. You are supporting him at that negotiation. So you only are, uh, so the balance between client and lawyer is very important. Um, so the, if the mediator asks a question, etc., the client needs to answer. And the, the, the lawyer can only help out uh, and ask questions like uh, about deeper interests or something like that. And I try to explain to them like about positioning this is also an example where students can be very, uh, uh, take a very uh, strong position. Like I want to be the lawyer. It's also, well, you cannot win this competition. Even if the lawyer is doing the greatest part, you still need your clients. So you're equally important in this competition. The, the client is equally important uh, as a lawyer. Um, and you, you can make it or break it as a client as well so you both have an equal amount of power in the win um and then i i look at the the, the, the characteristics of uh both uh, uh of the both and i see well which role will fit their natural strength you know and uh yeah one was um yeah a little bit more uh introvert a little bit more calm so i thought well this might be a good lawyer because you can dose your energy in a in a right way not being too much uh, uh present but when that was also the feedback that she got from uh, the judges when she talked it was on point so i so she was like observing everything and i told her uh, as a joke like you're our secret weapon uh, and she was observing everything and then at the end she will make a comment or go back to a point or so she was very strategic and she dosed uh, very well and the other one was more extrovert etc so I told her yeah you can uh, uh, get a lot of points as as the client because as a client you also get a lot of points of how do you express yourself? So yeah. they both do the opening stage. Someone has his uh, thing on. They both do their opening statements. And yeah, I just have his mic down both way. Ibrahim, Altar, and Zabit Sakrul. Yes, yes, we're working on it. Don't worry. Yeah, thank you. Please, uh, Yasmin, continue. Yeah, shukran. Um, so, uh, at the round, they both need to do an opening statement. And you ask about the case. In 
uh, in Vienna, they got like one big case. It was uh, originally an arbitrage case um, with a lot of information, like 60 pages of information. Um, so they studied it all. Um, and it's also like a trick, like, um, because it's, it's so, a sorry, test. So, so, sorry, sorry, yes, yes Mian. Uh, when when do they receive the this big case? One month before, two months before, one day before, two days before? Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, the big case, I think, it's one month or something like that before. Okay. So so, so they in, will, in they the will other have months, time to read it and to practice and okay okay go on yeah thank you yeah. Uh, so the other months you practice with other cases, like for example, if you have cases from other competitions or I don't care, then you can use that uh, to, to, you, to train the skills. Um, but the tricky part is, so you think you have uh, the, the case prepared in that month uh, and they make their opening statement based on that. And then, who, Every who, round. Who, 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 who make the the open statement? Opening the, the, the students. The students. And you, 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 you mentioned, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but but I, I think that we all need to, to learn more. You said that there is a lawyer and there is a client in every team. So who do the opening statement? Everyone. Both. Because... Yeah, because um, everyone needs to, it is just a, a me thing. Huh? So everyone is explaining who, who is he or she and what do you want to do here? What do you want to achieve here during a session? So the mediator is being judged by, okay, are you telling the relevant things about mediation? The confidentiality, uh, the impartiality, neutral, et cetera, uh, explaining the caucus. Um, so that are the judging points for the mediator okay. and for the but, client. Yeah, yeah. And but this is in the, op both. the opening statement, right? In the opening statement and they judging the points based on it. Did he mention the impartiality, the, the, the caucuses, the stages of the mediation, all of this, he got points on it. Thank you. Yeah. Continue, please. Yeah. 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 And then you have the opening statement of. Lawyer from the parties, yeah. yeah, yeah, lawyer client. So you have four in total, okay, and um, uh, and they get judged in a different way. So the client is being judged like, uh, did he express some some um, make the mistake, and that's why they uh, give you like a big case. So then you they can see well, can you distinguish important with non important uh, facts? From the case so some they just are telling the whole case in their opening statement and some and that's why you get the most points is they are very straight like i am here to reach this and this so you're clear clear communication uh and this is the reason why uh, and then you give your interest and then you give also like the background what does it mean for you what happened in your life um, and then you give it a, a story, like the storytelling part, um, and that are all uh, points where you uh, that you can get. Um, and the lawyer, um, he advocates like uh, the the he makes sure that the interests of the client are met, because sometimes a client is very emotional, and he can, he or she can say yes too quick, and then the lawyer should jump in. Well, did you remember uh, why it was important for you? And did you, is that problem solved now? So that's your role as, as, as a lawyer to be, to stay sharp and to uh, guard the interests of your client. Yeah, uh, um, um, let's say, do they focus on reframing in, uh, during the, the process? Uh, uh, is, is, is there a, points on that, the reflection, uh, uh, dealing with emotions, the body language, all, uh, all the skills that we are dealing with it during uh, 
uh, mediation process um, when it it the situation is very 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 sensitive and the parties are everyone in the other side and there is in the in the joint meeting the part the, the the mediator feels that it's time to caucus now to do the private sessions how do judges deal with all these issues and do you believe really that the students are uh, 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 ready during this mediation session to do all this stuff or you think that it's uh, it's an exercise to bring them into uh, uh, the professional life in the future how can you evaluate the competitions that you joined well, in paris and vienna and yeah mm. well there is a difference a bit in the competitions but for the example i will stay now I'm, 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 the... I'm, 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 I'm sorry after that i you mentioned twice or three times that there is a differences between the competition so after after talking about the issues that i asked please Continue telling us about the differences between the competitions, uh, Yasmin, yeah. if you don't mind. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Only for the example, I would say with Vienna, just not to confuse uh, the people. But uh, in Vienna, like I said, you have the big case. Okay, you studied that. You made your opening statement. But 30 minutes before the round, you will get confidential information. So one team is getting confidential information with an assignment and the other team is getting confidential information with another assignment and they are completely the opposite. So they create like a big problem. For example, they will say to A, you need to reach this uh, a solution, a settlement, this session, otherwise you will lose your job. And the other one will say, uh, well, you need to postpone that. Otherwise, uh, because there is something else going on and that will play out positive for you. So try to uh, postpone. Yeah. So they, uh, the first uh, uh, mistake that they make, and sometimes I just let the students make the mistake. So they base their opening statement on the previous information that they got one month ago. And they're so happy that they figured out an opening statement. They are so afraid to change it in the 30 minutes that they can. I say, well, it can be very useful to just change it and use the information, etc. So that's also a certain amount of trust you build. So sometimes I say, okay, we do it your way. And I, I, I let them make the mistake and they will get the feedback. And next time they will say, oh, you were right. So we will change the opening statement. Um, then uh, it can escalate very quickly based on, so that's a smart thing, the, the confidential information. So they are there with, on a mission. Um, and then also the, 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 the things you mentioned earlier, the, the, the mediation skills, like reframing, reflecting, etc. cetera. Uh, during the whole conversation, those things uh, are, are things you can score on. They are on the score sheet as well. So a lot of uh, people, I say always, put all the papers away. I don't want to see any paper because that is not the most important resource. The most important resource is the one that's first of you because you need to read that person, not your paper. So if you see any emotion, you need to mention it. You need uh, to see what's underneath it. Uh, also, if someone mentions something, well, why? Ask the questions, why? What, do you, what does it mean for you? Uh, what would you, uh, what would the perfect situation would look like? What, blah, blah, blah. Not blah, 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 but you, you, you go with your skills. And yeah, during that session, then you can, uh, or the points and we always the another mistake or a rookie thing that uh, students try to do they think well Nico we need to come to a settlement and that's uh, where the realistic part uh, plays because it's not possible to reach a settlement well and normally 
in the uh, in the most cases it's not possible to reach a settlement in one session you need like uh, different stages so in the beginning the first rounds you see the students stressing oh no we have just 30 minutes left and we need to settle etc and then in the other rounds when they got some extra feedback they are more relaxed and uh, following yeah going with the flow and trying to to dig deeper and really pay attention in, instead of forcing uh, the procedure. Because when you stress too much about the time, you are not using uh, your mediation skills. You are just busy, busy pushing an agenda. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I totally agree. Uh, it's not easy to use all your um, mediation skills. It's not easy. Sometimes it's the, 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 uh, the process itself it's uh, it's it's complicated uh, and people are nervous and the room full of emotions uh, and you have to focus a lot i think the main the main issue to to make you control everything i don't know if everybody agree with me that it's it's a skill or not but i believe it is number one is the focus it's the focus you can you can't do a, a, a reframing without focus you can't ask questions without focus you can't do the eye contact without focus you can't you can't listen to 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 emotions even without focus so i believe i believe if 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 the mediator control his focus he will control the process the whole process and I'm, 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 I'm very impressed and ha I'm, I'm very happy with what you are mentioned about your experience. But now it's time also before starting receiving the questions from the participants. And I believe that there is a lot of questions, I think so, uh, uh, from our participants who are focusing. Without focusing, uh, we will we will never see a lot of questions or, or, or hear it. But but tell us about the differences between the competitions between Paris, between Vienna, uh, 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 Amsterdam. I don't know where you you mentioned about two or three yeah. experiences. Yeah. Sometimes as a coach, sometimes as a judge. And we hope that we will have you in Palestine as a coach and as a judge very soon. Uh, Yasmin, please tell us about that. Inshallah, I, I would be happy to do that. Um, and first, I want to go back to your point that you just made about the focus. 100% true. That is 100% true. And the focus sometimes can slip away when there's a lot of tension, when they are too uh, stressed. Uh, I have another example, but I will keep that because uh, I want uh, to uh, leave some time for the questions. Um, and the differences between the competitions like for example, in Amsterdam, um, there I was a coach. And then, um, well, of, of, of course, the winner has different prizes. So in Paris, it was, I think, a masterclass and some books, books or a very expensive scholarship. I don't know. In Amsterdam, it was uh, also uh, a magazine and a check of 1,000 euros uh, to spend it to go uh, to Paris or to Vienna and to participate on the uh, Mondial platform. So every competition has its own price and, and the medallions, uh, of course. Um, and the other thing is the dynamics. So you always have a client lawyer, but sometimes the mediator is like, for example, in Paris, the mediator is a professional. Uh, and in... Um, in Amsterdam, the mediator is a professional. That can be a good and a bad thing uh, uh, because the mediator that is professional, they are, their instructions are, uh, they cannot intervene too much because otherwise it would be too easy for the, for the parties to uh, negotiate. So they have to sit on their hands and uh, be passive. Um, in, in Bologna and in, uh, in Vienna, the mediators were students so they can uh, they were able to show their skills and it it, it gives them like a whole other dimension uh, as well to uh, 
to the, uh, the session because they can be more involved. Yeah. 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 Um, um, you know what? Um, um, yes, I, mean, I don't want you to stop talking because, because really uh, it's, um, uh, uh, um, it's a very important and uh, uh, interesting um, uh, information that you are provided to us, but we 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 should uh, yeah, I mean, open um, um, the room for discussions, and I would love that maybe the um, the uh, uh, the media the, the new generation of mediators in the universities can can uh, add some. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I have Aziza Muhammad. You are very uh, uh, welcome. But also, I can see here Muhammad Duredi. He's one of the youth and one of the students in Birzeit University. I want you, Muhammad, if you don't mind, uh, and if you can hear uh, on the Arabic uh, channel, if you can talk to us and tell us about our experience together in Jericho, in uh, in the camp and where we did a lot of uh, simulations about the conflict between the students and the administration uh, in, in the university. And you play a, a very good uh, role there. So, uh, Mohamed Duridi, you are very welcome. But uh, 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 where is where is Aziza? You can, you, yeah, please, Aziza, yeah. Please. Thank you very much, Mr. Mohammed, and welcome to everybody. Thank you for this uh, session. I'm a new student in mediation at university and I'm not specialized. So I have uh, just uh, a simple question uh, for Mrs. Yasmin. Is there any difference between um, a negotiation session and uh, competition and the mediation competition? Or we use the negotiation uh, in the mediation competition? Um, I, I, I will let Yasmin answer uh, the question, but Aziza, tell us where are you from and um, uh, which university you are in, and tell us, uh, Yani. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, thank you. I'm an assistant pro assistant professor at Jenduba University in Tunisia. Okay, okay. Uh, we have a lot of friends uh, in Tunisia, you know Aziza, one of them yes, is Yes, yes. And she's here, I believe. <laughs> yes, and, thank and, you very all, much all, for all, all the sessions. Yeah, all the respect to Janduba. Ahlan wa sahlan. Thank you very much. Uh, please, Yasmin. Welcome, Aziza, and thank you uh, for the question. And this is a, a really good question as well. Um, so it is... a business, they call it a business mediation negotiation competition. Uh, and the difference between a normal negotiation as we know it in society is that it, this is in between a mediation context. So everyone that is negotiating in that room needs to show their uh, mediation skills uh, and show the Harvard negotiation rules um, and Harvard negotiation rules are some uh, rules based on the, the, the pillars of mediation, like uh, soft on the person, hard on the matter, uh, like uh, uh, large in the pie, look for uh, options, brainstorm, objective criteria, etc. So it is a negotiation competition in a mediation context, and that's how you get your points. If, okay, if thank you. you thank you very much. So we use negotiation skills in a mediation competition. There is no negotiation competition that are specialized in negotiation, not in mediation. You use uh, negotiations and mediation skills in the competition. Okay, uh, a final question uh, is um, just, it comes in my mind. Uh, uh, if uh, um, uh, mediation is very common in this uh, in these uh, countries or not, mediation uh, as a, a, a tool uh, in uh, courts, is, is it very common? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, um, it, it, de it depends uh, on the area on the subject as well so there are some um, so, some some domains where mediation is more common 
like uh, yeah div with div divorces it, it is something that is used often but you have also uh, for the Netherlands I know some pilots where the court uh, tests, uh, tests and looks at uh, the case and the facts if it's uh, if it's ripe for mediation if it has potential to uh, to 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 uh, get a good result at a mediation session for two reasons uh, for one is it is less work for the court because uh, they have a, a big workload i think like every country and uh, the second one is if the judge gives uh, the verdict and uh, say who is right and who is wrong you have um a solution for one question, one matter, like the legal matter, but the underlying conflict is not solved. The, the problem is still there. And next year they gonna proceed again uh, because of, of other stupid reason, uh, because the real uh, problem is not solved. So yeah, it depends, it depends. Uh, and I would like to know uh, if, if how it is in Tunisia, you're from Tunis, no? Yes, I'm from Tunisia, but I think that Mrs. Faith Nabilamin uh, will ask you much more better than me because I'm not. Uh, I, I just start uh, to have some some information and some session with uh, with uh, Faith and Mr. Mr. Ahmed. Uh, but uh, I I don't I don't really know if in courts we 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 use mediation as a tool or uh, not yet. Yeah, okay, okay. Thank you, Aziza. And um, I'm very happy that we will have also uh, uh, an intervention from Tala Mirai. Tala, she's one um, of the students in Birzeit University and one of the students that I'm very proud of her. So, Tala, please go on. Hello, yes. thank you. Thank you, Mr. Muhammad, for everything. Um, um, hello, everyone. Um, I just uh, to say and or not, I just want to add uh, a comment that thank you, Mr. Muhammad and uh, Mrs. Yasmin for everything that it's a uh, good, actually, it's a good topic that the topic of mediation is indeed wonderful. And um, we learned a lot from uh, you, Mrs. Uh, Yasmin, and from you also, Mr. Muhammad. Thank you so much for everything. And I don't have any question, actually, but I would like to comment on uh, a topic of uh, focus. But before I want to talk about um, what happened in, uh, in uh, Jericho, that we go with uh, Mr. Muhammad and on a camp that we learned with uh, Mr. Muhammad on mediation and its um, uh, and its techniques. Um, we learned how important it is to be a good mediator. And I just want to comment on the topic of focus that Professor Muhammad uh, or Mr. Muhammad, no, Professor Muhammad, I want to say. Tana, uh, Tana, you, Tana, please, you can say Muhammad. <laughs> okay, okay. Muhammad, um, when you focus, you uh, when you focus well you can understand ideas and sometimes prevent misunderstanding that may occur during the session so um the topic uh, focus is so important for uh, the mediator and that's that just what i want to say but i want to talk also about what happened uh, in jericho that we trained with uh, with uh, muhammad in a camp in uh, a city of jericho about mediation and uh, learned its techniques and I want to say also it was a really great experience but because it was related to our university, Birzeit University. So thank you for everything. Thank you, Tara. Thank you, Tara. And, and, and maybe, maybe I'm not sure it's not, uh, it will be a secret or not till now, but we, we have some, some changes in the implementation of the program of the project that maybe we will have the chance to do another training by the coming two months so be prepared well prepared and we will have the time to work together more and more with the whole team thank you thank you tala yeah, we are so excited thank you yeah. Uh, uh, yeah we have we have we have Ustaz uh, adil khuli from egypt um, one of the great mediators in uh, in egypt and the arab region i'm, I'm very happy to hear you and uh, that you are with us please mr adil tfaddal مساء الخير جميعا استاذ محمد استاذ ياسمين انا هسال سؤالي بالعربي دلوقتي احنا النهارده لما بنعمل الكومبيتيشن 
بيبقى ليها تايمنج فهل انتم بتقدروا بيزد على التايمنج ولا على الريزلت اللي هيحصل؟ لانه يوجوالي الستودنت دايما بيكونوا مستعجلين يوصلوا للنتيجه فهل انتم بتشوفوا اول انه مش مهم النتيجه المهم السكيلز اللي هتستخدموها ولا ازاي في الكومبيتيشن؟ شكرا. It's the question for you, Yasmin, if you got it. Yeah. Thank you, Adel, for uh, the question. It is a good question. Um, I will respond in English. Uh, sure. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So the you will not uh, lose or win a mediation session because you found a solution or you settled. It is the way and the process. How do you reach a settlement? What matters? even if you don't reach a settlement, because that's realistic. Um, and why, uh, if you don't take the right steps and only focus on reaching a settlement, you are uh, maybe skipping some steps that are important, uh, like uh, the underlying interest, like uh, mentioning on recognizing the emotions, uh, like um, different things. And if you skip those steps, um, the, the, the solution, the settlement you agreed upon will not, uh, will, well, the chances are small that, uh, that, they will, uh, that, that they will be a long-term solution. Let's put it that way. Uh, what you normally see is if you uh, skip some steps at the point you think, oh, we have a solution now, they they go back in their conflict again because there is still some emotion under there is still an, an issue that's not addressed well enough um so that's why the the process and showing the skills taking the right steps is more important than reaching a solution thank you for answering thank you very much And, and I think Adel, it's uh, and 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 Yasmin, of course, it's it's a realistic. Yani, uh, um, you you are you are you are a, a, a trainer also, and you are a mediator, Adel. And all of us knows that uh, the loser who who will focus only on the result, because if if we put our mindset on on the result, we will lose the the process itself. Yeah. Um, my my I, idea, sorry, my idea in this point that it's very good that uh, you train the student and leave the mediator create his way to reach the solution in the end. This is always my my point of view. But I'm asking because in the beginning, Yasmin said that there will be uh, uh, points for this competition. So I'm just want to know in the points is based on the skills or the mediator. Uh, 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 and this is what my question is exactly is for to know how they evaluate the student. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, you yeah. know that every mediator has to teach himself his way to reach the point. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's very it's very clear and thank you I, and and I remember that I I also asked something to Yasmin about the evaluation but Adel, it's important if you have yani, uh, something to add about that to continue talking together because we are we are trying to build something in the Arab region. Thank you, Adel Fatin, please. Um, maybe I can answer just one point. If yeah, if... before uh, sorry sorry Fatin, let's give Yasmin the opportunity to to answer and we will get you after that. Please, uh, yeah. Yasmin. Yeah, what, what you mentioned, uh, Mohammed, about uh, it is very realistic. Uh, sometimes uh, during a, a negotiation session or mediation, uh, it is the first time you hear about the other perspective. So sometimes there are apologies made and you still need to process that. And that needs time or a different narrative, a different uh, fact fact about the same story. So you need to process that. And that's another reason why uh, the result is not realistic. 
And the other thing, uh, the mediator should never push for a solution because uh, the mediator, mediator is not a neutral. And if the mediator wants a, a certain solution or is pushing to that way, then he cannot, he has his own interest. So uh, that's why the mediator doesn't get points for a solution. Yeah, uh, uh, Yasmin, let me let me let me uh, uh, share uh, one of my experiences in, in in mediation process. I was in in a mediation case, a family a family dispute. It was before less than one week, and uh, um, uh, it works for more than three hours and a half. We started, let's say, at uh, uh, at one o'clock, and at four twenty, I have another meeting at, outside and i planned that the, the mediation session the maximum will take three hours and uh, at the end that we we, we started I, I i started to write the agreement because they agreed on the seven conditions that they mentioned and he after that he he just came with a condition and in in mediation we don't talk about conditions we, we are talking about negotiation on situations on dialogue it's open and because i lost the focus because i have an appointment outside and i have to leave i said listen i don't have the time maybe if you want we can prepare another meeting but we can't continue right now he said no now or or that's it i said it's your choice and they left both anyways uh, fatim please we are uh, waiting to hear from you مرحبا جميعا وشكرا لك ياسمين على كل هذه يعني على طرح هذه التجربه وخاصه على كل هذه الايضاحات للامانه انا خذت تجربه في التحكيم في مسابقه دوليه للوساطه التجاريه وقد شارك فيها طلبه من مختلف دول العالم تلقوا تدريبا وجهزوا انفسهم للغرض يعني هو مسابقه تقريبا سنويه وكانت الأمانة تجربة مثرية جدا وقد كنا نعتمد على معايير لتقييم الطلب المشاركين إن كانوا احترموا the process المسار the skills المهارات التي اعتمدوها في مختلف المراحل وكذلك نضع نقاط يكون طبعا التقييم من قبل ثلاثة حكام وكل يعطي ملحوظاته والتجربة للأمانة يعني أعتقد أنها تضيف للطلبة باعتبار وان مثل ما قلتي يعني الوساطه في الحياه العاديه او الوساطه يعني في الواقع ليست هي نفسها الوساطه في مسابقه ولكن على الاقل يعني تكسب هؤلاء الطلبه تجربه وخبرات تمكنهم من فهم المسار وتمكنهم ايضا من خوض التجربه يعني بكل جديه لانه عندما نقوم في التدريبات ب يعني لعب الادوار المساله لا تعتبر بنفس الجديه عندما تكون المساله في اطار مسابقه فالفكره انه هذه المسابقات تمنح الطلبه تجربه وخبرات وتعطيهم بالتاكيد فرصة ليعيشوا على يعني نوع من التجربة الشبه حقيقية لأنها محاكاة ولكن تتسم يعني تخضع لشروط معينة وتخضع لقواعد وهناك المنافسة أيضا يعني دور المنافسة والتحكيم طبعا يلعب دور فقط أردت أن أسأل لأنني الفكرة مطروحة طبعا لتدريب بعض الطلبة لخوض المسابقة السنة القادمة السؤال هو كيف يمكن تدريب هؤلاء الطلبة بشكل يستجيب لخصوصية كل مسابقة شكرا شكرا فاتن على على كمان الإضافة اللي عملتيها حضرتك و دائما دائما سعيدين دائما بمشاركاتك وباضافاتك فاتن ما بعرف اذا ياسمين بتحب تضيف اي شيء على اللي قالته فاتن قبل ما ننتقل للقاضي الاستاذ حميد تادا وبعده للاستاذ يوسف احنا ضايل عندنا 10 دقائق 
لانتهاء اللقاء وهو لقاء ممتع جدا بتامل انه يكون حقق الفائده المرجوه ام سوري اي 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 تشينج ذا لانجويج اند اي ستارتد توكينج ان ان عربيك سو ثانك يو فاتن فور فور يور كومنتس اند اي جاست تيك the place for uh, Yasmin if she want I would like to add anything before having Judge Hamid Tada from Morocco and Mr. Youssef uh, 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 before uh, uh, yeah. this well, session yeah please uh, thank you Fatin um, for your uh, comments uh, I will keep it uh, short um, uh, I didn't understand the question uh, fully. It was about the preparation of the students uh, for the negotiation, no? How to prepare students um, to, to live this uh, experience, uh, especially the different experience of, uh, of uh, this... Um, I think that... Uh, um, يعني كل تجربة عندها خصوصية يعني. You can you, 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 uh, Fatin, you can speak in 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 French. Yeah. Uh, with, no, no, no. With, I, 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 you can you can you can ask uh, uh, Yasmin in French or in Dutch. I know that you are great in Dutch. In French, French. Ah, okay. okay. In French, no problem. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, it's, it's clear. Comment préparer comment préparer ces étudiants? Selon la spécificité de chaque de chacune des de chacune de ces okay. de ces concours là, ce, ça dépend, cela dépend bien okay. sûr des concours, mais comment les préparer de façon à ce qu'ils soient prêts pour chaque concours, euh, c'est-à-dire comment comment est-ce possible, euh, est-ce qu'il y a des, des trucs à leur euh, enseigner avant le concours, des spécificités bien sûr. Ok, ok merci. alors merci <rire> merci pour la question. Uh, well, the fun part is You can prepare the students for six months, but there are some things that you cannot prepare them for. So that's um, that's also a thing that I, that I want to prepare them for, like the uncertainty, like you are going to get emotional, even though it's fake. You are because of the pressure. The pressure uh, it will trigger something. For one small example was um, so. One step back. You cannot control the situation because the case will be different. The confidentials will be different. The other parties will be different. Maybe they are much better than you. Maybe they don't understand it well enough. I don't know what the situation will be, but the only thing you can control is yourself. So that is like a whole the other dimension of this whole competition is all also uh, regulating your own emotions. How are you going to react um, instead of um, going to your primary emotions and getting scared or uh, the fight, flight, freeze? So I a real short example. The day before the real competition started, we had a mock session with another team. And I didn't recognize my own student because she was only talking and she was only in positions and she, and she repeated that. I saw a pattern, she repeated that the whole session. I told her, huh, instead of going and teach her again the rules of mediation, I thought, you know it, you know what the rules are, you know the skills, you read all the books. It is something different. It was about her emotions. She couldn't, uh, control her own emotion and that's why she reacted in a defensive way and was arguing so hard so um i had another discussion with her i had another discussion about her feelings about how she can manage that how she can will deal with it and the next day it was another student uh, she did well so i hope that answers your question uh, and thank you thank you uh, yasmin in five minutes we will have uh, Judge Hamid Tada and Mr. Youssef, please, uh, uh, Judge Hamid.
السلام عليكم وي ار فيري هابي تو ميت يو بروفيسور ياسمين ان ان ذيس كونفرنس اباوت كارنجين اند كوتشين اوف فور فور ليجيشن اند اند اربيتريشن اند اي اي I can't I can't continue in English because I I, I don't improve. Hadi tariq al ustad al yaqubi. You are inside the acts uh, for uh, with with uh, with Professor Hadiya. Hadi tariq al ustad al yaqubi. Sabaqali the the bank dawli an an qama bid tajriba bid dar al bayda o bil ribat. Maa maa al gurfa al tijari al dawli bi Paris. بحضور الدكتور سبيل الهويربي مدير قسم العربي لتسوية المنازعات وبحضور كذلك الدكتور نبيل أنتاكي الوسيط الدولي من موريال والأستاذة هيلينا دوباكر من بروكسل الوسيطة الدولية عضوة بالمعهد الدولي للوساطة وحضرت أن لهذا التكوين وكان ب بتنظيم لي اف سي الشركه الدوليه للتمويل التابعه للبنك الدولي وكانت تجربه جد صعبه وتذكرت هذا 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 الشرح الذي تقدمت به حيث كان الاستاذ نبيل الانطاكي يتركز يركز التدريب على المهارات وعلى الاساليب اساليب الوسيط وعلى تغيير الادوار مرة أنت وسيط، مرة أنت محامي، مرة أنت و... أنت طرف، أنت طرف في الوساطة، وكان يصعب على كل أحد كان يحضر هذا التدريب، حيث أنه يختلف دوره وما... وتختلف مهارته من دور إلى دور، من دور الوسيط إلى دور الحكم إلى دور العامل. أنت الآن أنا أنا فهمت الصعوبة التي كانت في ذلك الوقت، والآن فهمت هذه الاستراتيجيه التي تبارك الله عليك تتقنها و... وكان وكان الدكتور محمد هادي على صواب وعلى حينما اختار اختار هذا الموضوع ب... ب... بدعوتك ل... 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 للاكت و اظن ان هذه ان هذا ان هذا ان هذا هذا الشرح الذي تقدمت به سوف يكون قيمة ذا قيمة إيجابية وقيمة مضافة لطلبة الجامعة الذين هم بالأكت وكذلك حتى الوسطاء حتى الوسطاء لأن الوسطاء ليس كما فهمت من عندكم تبارك الله أن ليس التسوية أو الوصول إلى الهدف كما قال كذلك الدكتور محمد ولكن هو هو إتقان التركيز على على ان يتقن الوسيط تلك المهاره وذلك الاسلوب الذي يف... ي... يبرز يبرز بتقنيه وبتجربه كما قال الفتره السابقه براكتيكال اتس اتس براكتيس اتس فيري فيري نايس براكتيس و واشكرك على هذا الحضور واشكر واشكر الاكت وجميع من من يروب حوله من من طاقم ومن اساتذه والى فرصه اخرى ان شاء الله. شكرا. شكرا شكرا استاذ حميد وانا بظن انه كان استاذ يوسف رفع ايده. يا اي ثينك ذات 8:30 and um, we are at the end of the one of the amazing sessions. We are very happy to have you Yasmin uh, tonight. Um, you are a great guest and uh, uh, full of uh, energy and information and experience. Uh, and we learned a lot from you and from your experience. We are looking forward to learn more and more from you and your experience. We are happy that we will have you, inshallah, in, uh, in Palestine and Ramallah uh, next week to be with us in our uh, conference for all our uh, uh, participants for tonight. Thank you. Uh, I'm, 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 we're in act very happy always that you you that we have you here always and to share the knowledge and the experience and uh, the information with you. Uh, um, uh, we will send you uh, an invitation link invitation for our conference on Tuesday, 29 of uh, uh, August on our um, uh, um, 
a conference on establishing the mediation clubs in universities and the example the pilot case is Birzeit University one of the uh, great greatest uh, universities in Palestine uh, uh, so خليني اقول لكم انه شكرا لكم جميعا كان لقاء كثير مميز شكرا ياسمين شكرا لكل المتدخلين وتصبحوا على خير شكرا يعطيكم العافيه بعطيكي مجال ياسمين كمان انت anything to add uh, uh, شكرا يا يا اف اف اي كان ثانك يو ثانك يو فور هافينج مي يا بليز ثانك يو ثانك يو فور ثانك يو for having me uh, and thank you to all uh, the participants here uh, for the great questions. Uh, I hope, uh, I'm very honored to be here. And um, next week, like you mentioned, uh, it's gonna be live uh, uh, and hybrid, so you can attend. And if you're interested, uh, I will go and dive a bit deeper in the intercultural part. Uh, and give uh, more examples and also about uh, examples of my own uh, practice. Uh, so uh, stay in touch, inshallah. Ila li. Inshallah. Bidna bidna nisma taala. Ata rafat ida bil akhir taala. Please, tafdali. Um, I want. Uh, I just want to add on behalf of Birzeit University students in Palestine that thank you for everything, and we are looking forward for more and for more working and more experience with you. Thank you. Uh, Tala, as usual, you are great. You are sure. great. I'm very, thank very you. proud of you and and thank and you. others, guys. Thank you, thank you, Tala. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.